welcome back to my channel. I am the Honey Bat, if this is your first time here. Today we have a full case of the Series 1 Monster High Minis. These come in these cute little lockers that snap and click together so you can build a whole honeycomb of display stands. And with that said, I think we're ready to get started. So I have removed all of the plastic to make this just a little bit easier. And it looks like our first one is going to be Claudine Wolf. Claudine is from the Beach Ghouls, and she is a Frightfully Uncommon, which is the third level of rarity. And speaking of rarity, we are going to look at the checklist. Their names are not on the checklist, just the name of whichever collection they are. So these are the Original Ghouls, the Circus Ghouls, the Power Ghouls, Getting Ghostly. Over here we have the rarity chart. So Common, Fantastic Find, Frightfully Uncommon, and Special Edition. On the back we have Beach Ghouls, and here is the Claudine that we found. The Ragdoll Ghouls, Sleepover Ghouls, Candy Ghouls, which might be my favorite, Pattern Ghouls, and Space Monsters, which also look really neat. It's time to open up our second pack and see who else we can find for our collection. Looks like we have a Chloe Denial. Chloe here is a common from the Pattern Ghouls. There's not a ton of detail on the back of her hair, but she does have a lot of detail on the front. So little blue stripes and yellow polka dots all over her. On to number three. Go ahead and rip this open. We have somebody purple in there. This is Ari Hauntington. She is from the Circus Ghouls, and she is a fantastic find. I thought it was fantastic, but it's not. So she has on a wonderful little purple shirt and a black skirt with an almost see-through face and purple hair. Shout out to one of my viewers named Ari. Thank you so much for watching. I love the support that you give me. I didn't realize that their bodies moved back and forth. Look at that. We are on to number four. And it looks like we might have a power ghoul. She's actually a sleepover ghoul. This is, of course, a common Frankie Stein. She has little lightning bolt and bolt pajamas. I love the long curly hair and all the streaks in it. It even has the little scar on her cheek. We are ready for another little monster. You can see some green hair in there. This is Venus McFlytrap from the Beach Ghouls collection. She has on a little black bathing suit and has the same long curly hair, kind of like Frankie Stein, but with different colored streaks, making her hair look a bit like a watermelon. Here we have another one. Let's see if we can't find an easy place to rip that open. And we have a Rochelle Goyle. This is another fantastic find. She is from the Gettin' Ghostly collection. She is iridescently shiny with, and pink all the way around. And it even has her little wings in the back. She's probably my favorite since she looks like a bat. And she does not turn very much though, even though the other ones did. I think it's because her wings get in the way. We still have a lot to go. Let's go on to this one over here on the right hand side. Oh, we have another shiny one. This is a power ghoul. This is Twyla. I'm hoping that the camera is picking up on the iridescent shine of her hair. She has a little spider on her chest and like a little superhero mask. And she's a common. So far, so good. Let's keep going. This one has a glare on it, so let's do this one next. Maybe that's a lucky sign. Ooh, that one has button eyes. This is a ragdoll ghoul. This is, of course, Caddy Noir. She is a common, and she has a little patchwork shirt on and the button eyes. Button eyes really freak me out. I can't do sock monkeys or la la loopsie dolls or like Coraline. I don't know what it is. They've always scared me. So I'm actually going to put her back up there, and we will try to get one that's a little less creepy. We are going to open this one and hope that it's not another ragdoll ghoul. And yes, I am actually like really deathly afraid of sock monkeys. It's kind of like my rational fear. 
This one is very different. This is Gorgon, and I believe the only boy that they have in this whole collection. He makes our very first space monster appearance, and his glasses, even though they move, are not removable. He has a little snake mohawk, kind of like Medusa, and he's really, really shiny. He's in kind of a lounging position and stands up nicely on his own. And we are ready for our 10th locker. And we have our first duplicate. This is Ari Hauntington again, the same collection. We've done pretty well so far. We went nine whole containers until we got our duplicate on the 10th one. And it looks like we have another duplicate. This is Twyla from the Power Ghouls. I swear, every time I say we're doing good, I wind up getting us a ton of duplicates. And here is another one. This is Caddy Noir with the button eyes. We're just going to leave her in there. Third time is the charm. This should be somebody new. And it definitely is. She's a pretty one. This is another sleepover ghoul. This is Catherine Demieux. She has on a little nightgown with little pink bows and a little black bow tied around the top. She turns both ways. Here's her little kitty tail and kitty cat ears. And she has purple curly hair that helps her sit up. I would like to see at least 15 different monsters for this video, so let's see if we can't do that. We have a duplicate of Frankie Stein in her pajamas. And in this one, ooh, that's somebody new. That's somebody glittery. This little glittery haired one is Jennifer Long. We finally found a candy ghoul. She is a fantastic find as well. It looks like she has a little grape soda there on her shirt. And she has like a gold shiny skin tone with her tail there and little red shoes. Her glitter is shedding all over my fingers, but I think we can forgive her if she's going to be a candy ghoul. We have five left to open, so we're going to go over here to the far left and hope that that one's lucky. And we finally found a Draculaura. So she is a beach ghoul, and she is another fantastic find. She is clearly Draculaura with those pigtails, and I love the little bow in her hair. Her swimsuit has on a little teal heart and a little pink heart there, and she has gorgeous purple eyes and neon hair. We'll go ahead and go here to the center. Peel this open. And we have another Draculaura. This one is a common from the circus school. She has her trademark pigtails and her little heart bow. She has on a, like a little schoolgirl outfit with striped socks and bright purple eyes with really long eyelashes. We're going to go all the way to the far right this time. Find a spot where this thing will rip nicely. And that looks like another space ghoul. So this is a space monster. This is, of course, Abby Bomitable. And she has on the same shiny suit that Gorgon did. Hers, however, has pink and purple stripes to match her eyes. And her hair is very pearlescent in person, but on camera it's kind of just picking up the glare. So she is really cute. I am really hoping to find one Laguna Blue for this video. She is my favorite of the Monster High dolls. And it looks like we actually might have another Claudine Wolf in there. And that's exactly who it was. This is another Pattern Ghoul, and she is a common in this particular paint. So well, she has her little fangs and her little pointed ears, and today she has purple stripes and green spots. And this is our last one for this video. This is our last chance to get a Laguna Blue. And it doesn't look like we have one. It looks like we have another Gorgon. And this is the Space Monster Gorgon again. Here's a quick look at how the lockers snap together. They slide in with little pegs in the middle and then they click down on the bottoms and tops. And then you can slide in your little dolls and then they'll sit nicely and you can display them. 
So here's a look at everyone that we found today. Who is your favorite? Please leave me that down below. I think I'm going to choose our little watermelon hair girl. This is, of course, Venus McFly Trap. And for my least favorite, it's going to be the one with the button eyes because it mm, freaks me out. So until next time, my fellow bats, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Bye for now.